Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me for another cleaning video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my daily and weekly routines. And today I'm going to be focusing on my deep cleaning kitchen routine. I have a checklist of all the cleaning tasks that I do on a daily basis. And then each day of the week, Monday through Friday, I focus on one specific area. Wonder if you're sleeping in now. But you and you two in that bed, it's stuck in my head. So the first step in my deep cleaning routine is to remove everything and spray all the surfaces down. I just work one section at a time and I move everything from that section onto the bench or another space. Then I spray everything down and I let it sit for a while. And while it's sitting, I'll just move on to another section. For me to do a deep clean, everything has to come out. So I do this once a week and that usually keeps on top of it so it's not a massive job but it's still surprising to see how much from just cooking and day-to-day -day use, cabinets get really grimy. I know it looks like it's clean, but up close, there's fingerprints, there's food drips, there's cooking splatters, and it really needed a good deep clean. Again, just taking things out and cleaning the places that you don't get to on a daily basis, including the kickboards and the baseboards or skirting boards. Now that the cleaning products have had time to sit and do their magic, now I'm going in with a cloth and I like to do for my mirrored splash back a double clean. So I will do a kind of a wetter clean with a damp cloth to get all of the grease and like cooking splatters off. And then I'll go in again with the window cleaner and a clean polishing cloth and just get it all nice and clean. After I've done a wet clean of the stove and stainless steel areas, I like to go in with the Method stainless steel cleaner and a clean polishing cloth and just give it a nice polish. I've been meaning to clean the wooden panelling at the base of my bench top for so long. It gets so many dirty marks and the paint is a matte finish so it's really difficult to clean. I used a magic eraser and managed to get all of the dirty marks off. Now if you guys are anything like me, when you start pulling things out to clean it, you look at it and you think, hmm, how can I switch things up and how can I put things back differently? Or I think about what I'm using at the moment. Previously I had a small shelving unit which was holding my bullet blender. I use that more in summertime, so now I'm not using it so much. I packed it up and I just switched out what I was keeping at the end of my bench to suit what I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis. If I don't like it, I can always switch it back to what I had. I didn't go out and buy anything else, I just used what I already had. If there is one job that I can highly encourage you to do more often, at least once a week, that is to clean out your oven. If you give it a quick wipe over, clean the inside of the door and clean the seals, you will never have a massive chore of cleaning your oven again, I promise you. For 
my kitchen deep cleaning routine, I have cleaned the stove, the oven and the cabinets, given the microwave, kickboards and range hood a clean and then dusted, vacuumed and mopped. It doesn't need to take forever and if you do it on a weekly basis, you can get through it super quickly. The key here is to definitely do less more often. So on top of your daily cleaning routine in the kitchen, like doing your dishes, cleaning the sink, wiping down the counters, if you do a deeper clean on a weekly basis, then it doesn't build up to that point where it is such an overwhelming and off-putting job. Remember, the key to your success is hidden in your daily routines. And that definitely includes cleaning routines. Thanks so much for watching to the end you guys if you're interested in how i created my cleaning checklist i used pick monkey to create it i do have a paid subscription to pick monkey as it's what i use for all my youtube channel thumbnails and whatnot there are other free graphic design software options available on the internet alternatively you could go to pinterest and search cleaning routine checklists there's a ton available that you can print and download from there the only problem is that with my house, with the size of the house, the level of detail I want to go into with my cleaning and how much time I want to spend, which days I've got free to do the bigger jobs, which days I've got free to do the smaller jobs, it's quite unique to everyone's individual house and situation. So I find that creating my own works best for me. I print it off, laminate it, and then I just use some magnetic strip tape. And then I stick it on the side of my fridge where I see it every single day. I'm opening the fridge. It's right there at eye level. So I'm constantly reminded there's no escaping the cleaning routine that I need to get done. I find that this system really works for me. You do the basics every day and then you just spend 20 or 30 minutes Monday to Friday getting the bigger things done. So the cleaning never piles up and gets out of control. This is loosely based on the Fly Lady zone cleaning system. So if you're interested, definitely Google that. There's heaps of information on zone cleaning. Once again, thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's great feedback for me. It lets me know that you love these kind of videos and for me to keep on making them. If you haven't already and you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go and hit that notification bell so you know each time I make a new video. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate you taking the time to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.